Speaking of not running into wind turbine foundations, there's actually an article in PES Wind, and if you haven't downloaded the latest edition of PES Wind, you can do that on your own at PESWind.com. You just type it into the old Google and push the button, and there it is. Now, there's a lot of great articles in this quarter's edition and a good bit of offshore in it. The article I want to highlight today is from Buoyant Works. And if you've been to the Buoyant Works website, you can see all the sort of the polyurethane bumpers that they have created for not only the, the towers, but also the CTVs, which is really important because they do run into one another once in a while. And it has become more of an issue that uh, there's damage on some of these vessels. And just trying to minimize the, the complexity of trying to get close to a turbine without damaging it is, is a huge problem. And if you have read the article here, and I encourage you to do that on your own, there's a lot going on uh, as these CTVs approach these turbines and just trying to avoid damage and trying to keep from having bump incidences where the, the crew gets rocked is important here. And uh, Joel, as you have pointed out many times, Safety is of the utmost here uh, on these crew transfer vehicles. Yeah, if you haven't been offshore, there's something to understand uh, in operations that maybe most people don't. So if you're seeing, like, if you're at a boat ramp at, at the, your local lake or river and you see a boat go back off a trailer, they usually kind of, like, throttle down and sit there. And they're waiting for people or whatever. When you're in a marine environment, when you're dealing with big vessels and you're doing any kind of operations, whether it's pile driving, rock lay, whatever it may be, that vessel is almost always throttled up. You're, a, you're at a certain amount of throttle all the time because that's how you're able to hold position. So it's the same thing when a CTV approaches a, a, a transition piece or a wind turbine, they nudge up against where the ladder is and there's mechanisms designed, they're engineering mechanisms, and that's what... Uh, they do here at Buoyant. Uh, their, their Buoyant works are all of their different systems to make sure they slip. But they put that boat right against the transition piece and they throttle it up to hold it there so it's nice and steady. But when you're in the North Sea or somewhere offshore and you've got two, three meter heaves going on, you've got to be able to efficiently slide up and down that transition piece while you're throttled up. And that's what their, uh, their systems allow people to do safely. Because if you're not doing that safely, the boat starts to pinch and move and squeak and it will get hung up or held. You can't have that. Otherwise, you can't transfer. Um, so these, uh, what, what you're looking at here is, oh, this is cool offenders. No, they actually are the things that allow us to safely transfer people offshore. So check out the website, buoyantworks.com, and take a look at their polyurethane products and accept no imitations, buoyantworks.com. As busy wind energy professionals, staying informed is crucial. And let's face it, difficult. That's why the Uptime Podcast recommends PES Wind Magazine. PES Wind offers a diverse range of in-depth articles and expert insights that dive into the most pressing issues facing our energy future. Whether you're an industry veteran or new to wind, PES Wind has the high quality content you need. Don't miss out. Visit PESWind.com today.